so, um, so, I don't have a front tooth, um, today I am continuing to feel better, which is really exciting, um, and I miss you guys, I miss being able to just chit chat with you, um, connect and but I just am so thankful to you guys for the messages and the comments and your prayers and your thoughts and um that's just been unbelievably humbling and amazing and I just I can't express to you how much it's kept me going through this and um yeah but as you can see I'm getting my um face back which is awesome I mean, way back, uh, I can, um, recognize myself, and this is pretty much the only area that's still, um, even a little bit swollen, and then down here, but, um, my friend keep, my friends keep asking me for pictures, and I did, at the beginning, take pictures of my face, but then the day before my surgery, I was just in too much pain, I couldn't do anything, um, but now I wish I had a picture because it was freaking weird. I mean, my whole face was blown up and then, um, you know, I'm a pretty skinny girl, so, um, I have a very slender neck and I had no neck, like not, I started out with like neck rolls, you know, swollen. And then it just went straight from, like, my neck down. And it was just, like, a big cushion. Um, so, I wish I had a picture of that, but not the end of the world. <sighs> just been trying to divert myself. And, um, continue to be in pain, but nothing like what I was in. And, um just getting better and better and um keeping food down and not feeling like I have to throw up all the time it's just ugh, so grateful um but I have so many things to talk to you guys about it's just I can't talk for a really long time but I've watched more movies and entire television shows in the past week than I have probably my whole life. <laughs> um, so I have some updates on those new favorite shows, but, um, right now, lately, sorry, my eyes like freaking out. Um, I've been watching The Real Housewives of Melbourne, and that's been interesting. So, um, let me know if you guys watch any of the Real Housewives series because I am like, so obsessed. I watch all of them. And now I've branched out to I watched the Vancouver one and now the Melbourne one. I think there's another overseas one. But um that's it for me for talking. Uh I don't want to be in too much pain. Dan said one of the most profound things to me when I read it because I've been so critical of myself and in my healing because I think, like, I thought once I got the tooth out, the next day I'd be, I'd be better. And it's been a very long, tiring process and, you know, I slept a bunch last night and instead of being grateful for sleeping, I worried, like, oh my gosh, like, Am I not healing? Am I not getting better? And I've just put so much pressure on myself, mainly for my friends and my family, because they worry so much, especially my parents who, you know, saw my face, and it was just extremely distress dis distressing to them, I'm sure. Um, whereas I can avoid looking at myself in the mirror. They have to look right at me when my eyes were swelling shut and my lip was out to here and my nose was so swollen it looked like this and um <sighs> she said in a comment on Facebook and if you're interested in 
um, hearing about my experience a little more in depth, just go on my Facebook. And my last post is a pretty long post about just kind of like the general idea of what I went through in the days and, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, uh, so you can just read it up on that. But in that, you'll actually see Diane's post. And thank you for everyone who wrote in that and commented. And I just, I can't even explain how much I love you guys. But at the very end, Diane writes something and... She said, you only, I forget what, exactly what she said, but in, in essence, what she said is, you only get one try to heal correctly, so don't rush it. And I thought, I mean, I just, it was like a huge sigh of relief. And I thought, boy, if that isn't the truth. And I need to slow down, rest, and just heal. Like, I felt like, you know, the second I felt okay, like, I need to eat something, and I need to walk around, and I need to do this, and I need to do that, and I need to, and it was just so much pressure, and my body's just so exhausted. And so I thought, you know, like, boy, I could really mess this up, and, um... So thank you for that comment, and I hope that others that are, you know, sick right now, because I know there's a lot of the flu, and this, a flu, and a cold is actually worse than the flu is going around, um, and I just hope that that helps you too, that, um, that you will get there, but don't rush it, because you can do so much more damage. Um, if you don't take those extra days in bed or take care of yourself, you know, so, um, the question I had, because I was talking to my parents about this, is, um, if you have fibro, and I know the answer for this, uh, um, for some of you, but please write in the comments down below, um, still, even though you know that I know about these things, but. I want to open up a conversation and see that so other people can see it as well. If that makes any sense whatsoever. I don't even know what I'm saying. But anyways, if you have fibro or related diseases or illnesses, do you have dental issues? Because I am finding that more and more people I meet with fibro have extreme dental issues and it's something I'm very curious about and so I'd like to know what you guys experience and um you know if it has been an issue or if you know someone that's been an issue for and please leave that in the comments down below letting me know um what those are um it's just really a really you know a random thing but I've been like seeing it more and more so um, but other than that, I miss you guys. I can't wait to just sit up and talk to you guys again and, um, you know, get past all of this. And thank you again. And hope you guys are having a pain free, stress free day. And I'm sending out X double O's. And as always, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.